Hi viewers, we are here once again to excite you with some wonderful shots. Today we are going to be dealing specifically with how to block sticks. If you watch our previous videos, we were talking about conditioning. Conditioning will lead you on how to be able to do these actions we are about to show you today on how to block sticks. First of all, I want to quickly remind our first timers to always hit the bell and leave your comments, subscribe so that you can always have a update first hand then for our esteemed viewers or subscribers so stay tuned and check out the action all right, all right. now the first explanation is from the conditioning you cannot try this if your hand has not been when we talked about conditioning in the previous shot, in the previous video, we mentioned conditioning on different aspects, but uh, I, we didn't touch this. But this we're going to be doing two in one. So we're going to talk about the conditioning of the forearm and how to use it to block the stick. Now, if this forearm is not well conditioned, you cannot block the stick with it. And not just being conditioned, there are areas of which you're supposed to use to block with. Now, if you watch the forearm now, you have here, you have here, and you have here. Now, where are the parts that is most suitable to take such blocks? To block hard stuff like sticks or any other hard, uh, hard object. Number one, here. Number two, here. Those are the two basic places or parts that is very, very uh, most effective to use for blocking such hard surfaces. Now we take the first action. Now take your up strike, go. Now if you can see the blocking, I had to turn the hand, the place, the part I showed you that that's the part to block with. I had to turn it up to block. If I want to use the other aspect, I can see turn it this way. Now strike up again, go. Now I'm using the other area. This side and this side are the most effective areas to block with. Now take the strike, come this way on the side. You can see I'm still using the same aspect, the same part. If you turn this way, you are endangering, even though your hand is conditioned, but you will have some, some pains. But to uh, totally be effective or to totally avoid having pains is here or here so easily is here now let's take it again go on your, on your action go Boom. that's it now go from the top go that's it go from the side again go good now with all those strikes you don't have any issue but if you do not use the actual area that's where you're going to have issues so you can always play around with it now come to this way go that's the aspect i turn here not here except or i will do this but if doing this will make you will, will destabilize you also easy the easy way is pop there yeah. all right okay just take it randomly go Now, if you want to take a counter action, that is, it comes at, with attack, you defend and you counter, you can equally do that. Okay, now let's try that. Ooh, ah! oh, see this? Take your block and you move in with your strike. It's as simple as that. You can take it any other way. Okay. Mm, this time, I dodge instead of blocking. I dodge him because I am coming with the intention of a counter. So if you are coming with the intention of a counter, you might choose not to block because blocking sometimes might delay you depending on what you have in mind to take or to do. So you might pause blocking and instead dodge in and take your action. Okay? So with these few actions, you can learn more. And then we'll come back your way to give you more of this. Stay tuned for our first timers. We remind you, hit the bell, subscribe so that you get uh, first hand updates. Then for our already subscribers, 
Say thumbs up. Stay tuned for next action.